Okay, but now we have to talk about a concept that it's hard to grasp at the beginning for junior de junior devs or if you're studying React, but it's used like all the time, like, every day, millions of times a day. You will have to conditionally render something because it's the normal case. Let's say that you have a a, a toggle like a button that you want to swap to the left or to the right based on the interaction of the user, like a switch button. So a toggle will have to show up on or off. And that's a condition, like if it's on, make it look like it's on. And if it's off, make it look like it's off. So it's a condition, it's a condition that makes you render differently. That's why we call it conditional rendering. There's a lot of um, Concept, like articles on the internet about this. If you look for React conditional render, conditional rendering, you will find a lot of documentation. But I, I thought it was a great idea to address it here as an exercise because it's a concept that we really have to master when we are a React developer. So this little example is saying that we want to make our alert show or hide based on a property. So, as you can see here, we have two alerts. One that says show true and show false. So the first thing that we gotta do is that we gotta know that props.show will contain the alert property. Like console.log, props.show will show me, let me, will show me the property, property show value. Let's test that. Okay, let's test it. I'm gonna build. We're gonna see what the inspector is showing up. Oh, we have an error. Let's see what the error is. Mrs. Abicolo, number seven. Maybe I put it too late. I have to build again. There it is. Okay. So let's see the console. It says, we'll show the property show value true will show the property show value false and that's because we have two alerts right so every time an alert renders it will console log because that's what an alert will do so we have two here that show true and show false and i guess that's enough to understand what we gotta do because we're returning here always the same but what if we return something different what if we say if props that show that we know it's a boolean because we have it here in the console log we know it can be true or it can be false we say, what if props.show it's equal to true? Or let's say that it's equal to false. What do we want it to happen? Let me put it in parentheses and then I open my curly brackets. And I would say here, return no. I'm not going to return anything. Else, and then we return everything that we were returning before, like all of this, inside the, the else. Like that. So now if I run it, you'll see that it's rendering only one of the alerts, not the other one, because now it works. Now we can show or hide an alert based on a condition. So let's test this. Oh, by missing the text property, I think it's going to give me a problem because of that. Oh, I mean, well, it, it wasn't completed. I think the validation of the exercise is not completed because you should also have you should also put here props.text because that's part of the of the properties of the component. Yeah, and that's it.